friends, I was just finishing up setting my table. I'm preparing for a meal. That reminds me of our Bible story for today. I have a great Bible story that I'd like to share with you. It comes from the book of John in our Bible. The Bible is full of God's true words for us to read. Can you put your hands together like this, like you're holding a Bible? Let's do our Bible finger play. The Holy Bible is God's word. Let's open it and see where it tells us of his love. He loves you and he loves me. And I am so glad that he loves me. Let's pray before our Bible story. Dear God, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for our Bible story. We thank you for the Bible and the true words that are inside of it. Thank you for Jesus and thank you that we can worship him. In your name we pray, amen, amen. Boys and girls, our story today is about three people who were preparing for a special meal. Mary, her sister Martha, and their brother Lazarus were all getting everything ready around the house because Jesus was coming for dinner. How cool would that be? Jesus arrived at their house and they ate together. Can you show me how you eat? And they drink water together. Can you show me how you drink? And then they talked for a very long time. Suddenly, Mary left the table. And when she came back, she brought a very small bottle of expensive perfume. Perfume smells very good. Can you pretend to smell something very good? Mary was saving her perfume for a very special time. Today, Mary was ready to use her perfume, but not on herself. She was going to pour it on Jesus. Mary wanted to show Jesus how special and how important he was. She wanted to show him how much she loved him. Mary carefully opened the bottle of perfume and slowly began to pour it on Jesus's feet. Can you pretend to pour it? Then Mary used her long hair to dry Jesus's feet. And this showed everybody watching how special and important Jesus was because only Jesus is perfect. Mary used the perfume to worship Jesus, to show him how much she loved him. It is right and good to worship Jesus with what we have. The people at the dinner saw how much Mary loved Jesus. They saw her worship Jesus that night. In the Bible, in Psalm chapter 100, verse 2, it says, Worship the Lord with gladness. Worship is showing God how much we love him. It is right and good to worship Jesus. Mary showed Jesus how much she loved him by using the perfume to worship him. We can show Jesus how much we love him by worshiping him as well. We can use our voices to sing to him. We can help others around us. We can read the words in the Bible. And we can even tell others about Jesus. These are all ways that we can worship God. Boys and girls, our scripture verse today comes from the book of Psalm, chapter 100, verse 2. And it says, Worship the Lord with gladness. Worship is when we show God how much we love him. Can you repeat after me? Worship the Lord with gladness. Psalm 102. In our story, Mary worshiped Jesus with gladness. Let's try our scripture verse one more time. 
worship the Lord with gladness. Psalm 102. We can worship Jesus with gladness, with happiness, with joy, and a smile on our face. Friends, I have a few questions about the story. Would you like to answer them? Okay, great. Let's get started. Question number one. What did Mary use to show her love for Jesus? Yes, she used the perfume to show Jesus how much she loved him. Question number two. Who should we worship? God, Jesus, yes. It is right and good to worship Jesus. Question number three. How should we worship God? With gladness. Our scripture verse today said, worship the Lord with gladness. Can I see a smile on your face? And question number four. Who is perfect? Jesus. Only Jesus is perfect. Boys and girls, we're going to have the chance to worship God with our voices, just like we've been talking about. Mary used her perfume. We can use our mouths and our hearts to tell God how much we love him. Let's pray before we sing. Dear God, we thank you so much for what we've learned today. We thank you for this chance to worship you, to show you how much we love you. Let us use our voices and our hearts to worship you right now. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing a song called, I Will Proclaim the Name of the Lord. And in this song, it says that God is great. How about we use our hands to clap while we sing this song, while we worship him? I will proclaim the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the greatness of our God. He is the rock. His works are perfect and all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong upright and just is he. This song reminds us that God is perfect, God is just, and God is faithful. Let's worship God with our hands. Let's wave them this time. I will proclaim the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the greatness of our God. He is the rock. His works are perfect and all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong, upright and just is he. We can worship God with our voices and with our songs anytime, anywhere. How about this time we tap? Are you ready? I will proclaim the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the greatness of our God. He is the rock. His works are perfect and all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong, upright and just is he. Remember, it is good and right to worship Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us for another Bible story. We'll see you next time. Bye.